welcome back. Now, last week we told you that we're going to continue our series on hepatitis. We gave an introduction to it, especially to hepatitis A and B, which is what is more common with pregnant women. And so this week we're going to continue our series. And of course, Dr. Clement Debo is in the house. Thank you so much for coming back to the show and pleasure. telling us more about it. But before we go into the second part, just in case for any of our viewers who missed it, a quick recap of what exactly hepatitis is, especially a and b thank you uh, we discussed last week that hepatitis is a viral infection that specifically affects the liver and that they, they, they divide or they replicate in the liver cells and that is what uh, actually causes problem yeah. for the liver in that uh, it prevent the liver from carrying out its functions okay. we also established that it's a global problem yes and that um, like the hepatitis B, we have about 2 billion people wow. affected worldwide. That's a lot. Uh, yes, out of these 2 billion people, you have about 350 million, they are chronic carriers. Okay. So even though they may not show the symptoms. Mm -hmm. So such findings usually, uh, like um, we established last week, maybe you send for a nanny, mm -hmm. go and do this and that, you see that this person is hepatitis B mm -hmm. positive. Then you repre uh, antenatal, the women come, comes around, you do a test, you see that they are also positive for hepatitis B. Yes, and you also talked about um, the ability of a child being born and not um, having not having hepatitis, especially A. Yes. Because you said it's not, it doesn't spread vertical. Yeah, yes. there's no uh, vertical uh, transmission. Transmission, but yes. the B. The B, there is vertical transmission. Yes. Childbirth. Yes. Okay, so now we know a bit about hepatitis. What can we do because I do know that a number of my friends who did have the test done on their nannies and um, they saw it it was ah God just saved me oh. yeah. God just rescued me and my children carry your load and go it was like it was almost like ah, that was the end just yeah. go what first of all how dangerous is this for mothers especially if you have someone else in your house having it especially in relation to the children how dangerous is this before we even get to the management all right thank you very much now, um, when you have somebody with hepatitis B positive, and um, uh, we are using B now because that is commoner. Come on. In fact, anywhere it's commoner. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does not automatically translate to somebody getting it. Okay. Because <laughs> it's having a handshake, mm -hmm. there must be exchange of fluid. All right. You know, fluid in terms of blood, okay. uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, semen, mm -hmm. and other forms of fluid. That, and there has to be a breakage hmm. in the membrane. There should be a breakage before you can't contact it from another person. So it's not like maybe um, he she used the cup and uh, my kid used the cup. No, no, it's not. It's not like that. It's not, not like, like that. that. Yeah. Even though you know that kind of transmission, they call it um, horizontal transmission, mm -hmm. but those are not the major source of getting okay. this stuff. And sometimes. Adults, if it, um, that disease was contracted in adulthood, mm. as an adult, sometimes it runs its course and disappears. Oh, really? Yeah, so it may not even eventually come down with the uh, liver failure, or cirrhosis, or okay. hepatitis. And if there are no other tri uh, factors that could trigger it, like in that of A and D, or any form of it, if the person does not take alcohol, you know, alcohol can make it even worse, actually. Really? Yeah. So. There are a lot of factors to consider, but however, if the person manifests with the symptoms okay. or the clinical manifestation, so it's actually a problem. No problem. So such a person would have to go for treatment, not okay. self-medication. Awesome. He will need to see a specialist, okay. um, gastroenterologist. Wow. Those are the people who take care <laughs> of. It's a big uh, word. Yeah. Huh? So who takes care of um, things like that? And uh, there are some drugs and some antiretroviral works for. Really? I thought it was for HIV. Yeah, well, some of the, the HIV is virus, remember? Okay, that's true. <laughs> you know, it seems like it's a different it's thing, but when you break own, it down, yes. it's... So some of them actually have been approved for the treatment of hepatitis. hepatitis, and you have to use it for a very long time. Okay. Another group of drug that has been used is interferon. Mm. So, but these are expensive drugs, okay. and that, um, you know, you have to have uh, that yeah, account yeah. before you can do that. But sometimes, very minor th few things that will be done the hepatitis b will go away okay. so f but for the baby mm. for the baby which is uh, should be our primary mm. focus mm. we vaccination is very important okay the, in the case of that baby 
as soon as the baby is born, you give the hepatitis B vaccine, mm. and then you give the immunoglobulin. Okay. What that means is that the vaccine is actually a vaccine is uh, a substance or an antigen that when you introduce it to somebody, the body will synthesize antibodies against that, that thing. thing. So that when next it sees it, it attacks. Oh, okay. But it's different from the immunoglobulins in that the immunoglobulins are already antibodies, already prepared to fight. To fight. Unlike when the vaccines yes. will make it synthesize. And then, then the next time. Yes. But this one is it's prepped and ready to yeah, go. Yeah, it's going to start fighting until the vaccine you have given uh, allow the body to synthesize their own antibodies. Oh. So within that six months, that baby will be able to fight. Okay. So the vaccines will not take over oh, by wow. synthesizing other antibodies from the system. What about the mother? How, what's the management for? Yes, after delivery, even though some people have decided to use these retroviral drugs while the mother is pregnant, pregnant. Okay. because the, the drugs are not known to cause any no problems with the fetus. Okay. They so they use it. So others might wait that after delivery, I want to start using this. It does not contraindicate breastfeeding. Okay, so during you can still do that because I know when it comes to drugs, we're always yes. very yeah. particular. Breastfeeding, tell you if you're breastfeeding, don't take that, yeah. doesn't affect no, it does not. So the baby can breastfeed, it can take all other immunization. You know, you have like hepatitis B vaccine, you have it up to three doses mm -hmm. at different yes, ages yes, in the baby. True. So that is to prevent that. Then, on the let's say, then prevention is actually better than cure. Mm. If we keep our environment clean, and um, we wash our hands, we wash our food, our fruit, vegetables very well, very we cook well. them, it could reduce the chances of um, doing this. Then for hepatitis D or A, some people who use uh, share needles, you know, drug oh. users and all of that, uh, if they minimize sharing, sharing, it could also reduce that. Then having one sexual partner for very those important. who contract it, that is also very important. Yeah. In Does protection uh, yeah. also help? Um, if yes. You're, if you're sexually active, making sure you're using protection. Yeah, that, that is a way out. You can also use that. But uh, uh, it's always better to uh -huh, have you know. One. Yeah. So that is how it is managed. Then, in where the person has come down with the clinical manifestation, mm -hmm. then a lot of uh, complex medical management will come in. Coming. But funny enough, like hepatitis A, there are no specific treatment. Antibiotics does not work. Oh. Antiretroviral. In the case of hepatitis B, it doesn't work for A. Corticosteroid that will reduce the inflammation does not work. Wow. You see? So it's usually supportive. Okay. The patient is like this, you support. The patient is like this, you support. Okay. So if the person makes it, then in the case of A, you will likely not have hepatitis A again. again. But hepatitis B does not exist on its own. It's, co it's a co-infection with B. So one that has hepatitis B, the chances of having hepatitis D is very high. Oh my goodness, this is getting worse. <laughs> uh -huh. So, and also any of these, HIV could also complicate it. Okay. Uh, so that high risk sexual behavior is a, is a major factor, factor in having this hepatitis. Wow, okay, so basically this prevention is better than cure. Yeah, really. It's, it's easier and it's better to ensure that you don't get there yeah. than to get there and start to think of what to do. Yes, and when you get there, like the mothers that is not the end of end life in of fact life. they can live their normal life but let them prevent their baby from, from having it. it yes anyhow some they had to source because some people uh, say don't breastfeed that was before mm. Mm -hmm. you have to give this then yes. you can breastfeed yeah. and be happy. happy yeah thank you thank you thank you so much dr Dover. thank you so much so wow i know it's a lot of information scary <laughs> sometimes but you know, one thing I like is that the doctors always tell you that, give you the information and give you what you can do. So prevention is better than cure. There's some steps you can take to ensure you don't get into this issue. And even if you get into this issue, for the mothers, there are things that you can do. Doc always says pregnancy is not an emergency case. You know you know the period. So if you need to give the um, the the immo what did you call it again? Immunoglobulin. It's going to cost a bit of money, but you have time to get it together to ensure that your child is safe. That is so. Look, there's nothing too much to sacrifice for your child. That's what I believe. That's just what I believe. So you have enough time to ensure that your child is safe. Thank you so much, Doc. It's a pleasure. All right, it's Doctor on Demand. All your questions and in, and all the answers are coming up. Stay with us.
Sí.